Music education, historically, is an inward-looking exercise. And it's also focused on how you make an individual player better today than he was yesterday, how you set the technique so that, so that she or he can have this long future and ever, be ever more expressive as an individual musician. So it's, it's, all, it's turned inward on itself. We, we think that the digital future is going to require that we face outward. As educators, as musicians, and as an institution. The architecture reflects that. This is a transparent primary facade. It's made digitally transparent by the wall casts. Inside, it's not just the musicians playing, it's all of the digital projection that's that's inside but it goes to the heart of everything Yasu Toyota is was the acoustician for this building and, and he has a particular blonde wood Alaskan cedar that he loves to use as the stage of his performance halls it's also perfect because the light bounces off that light wood and up into the faces of the players. So instead of a traditional orchestral setting where the, the, the lighting is on the music and the faces are in shadow, in this hall, the light comes from beneath and you can see the players vividly, directly, and you can watch their eyes move over the course of the evening as they work the ensemble, as they are very much attuned to one another. All of that was considered as we built this building. How do we turn ourselves out into the public, out to the community, and then invite them in? Riding beneath that is the fact that this is public land. This is a public-private partnership. This is not your Eurocentric, inward-looking educational institution. This is very much we think about the future in that you embrace the public as you make your players better. The fact that it's public land, the fact that there is City of Miami Beach and Miami-Dade County funding as part of the stream of funds that brought this together, because it's a public park, because the garage is a public garage linked directly to this institution. It put us in a conversation with our community that many music schools never have. But we think it's incredibly healthy. And we know this because as our fellows move out and become alumni and become members of major orchestras and ensembles and faculties around this country, they are making a difference because they are directed outward and engaging their public in ways that their orchestras and ensembles and educational institutions never did before. So we think that this has long-term benefit. And I, I would say that in some cases, unwittingly, that public-private partnership put us in a place where we could be even more than we might have otherwise been.